Hey guys, Dana Alexander here. Um, I said I was gonna post my must-haves, so that's what I'm here to go live with you guys about today, is I just wanna talk about that just a little bit before we get started, is I'm all about the everyday pet groomer. So I'm all about keeping it simple. So I'm planning on showing you guys my everyday arsenal of tools. I call myself the minimalist groomer, so I use the bare minimum, but my criteria for that is what is going to help me be faster, so that's gonna make me money, what is gonna make my job easier, and what is cost effective. So that is what this is about. This is the same tools I bring everywhere with me. I. A lot of people, I've heard a lot of people tell me, oh, you have so little, you know, but I've tested so many things and tried so many things and this is my go-to stuff. It's simple, but it literally works and this is literally what I include in my student kits and this is how I teach groomers to groom because you don't necessarily need a lot to produce a fantastic result. So we're going to get right into it. I'm hoping you guys can see this stuff. Okay, right, we're gonna go start over here. And we're gonna go all the way to my favorite stuff over here. Okay, that's it, that's all my stuff. So I'm gonna go through each one with you guys now. Okay, so my top tool, a five in one. Wall five in one, love it. I literally tried one of these I was a late bloomer, so I tried one of these like maybe three years ago, and I was like, where's this been all my life? I completely changed how I groomed because of the five in one. So tool number one, five in one. I literally do 90% of my grooming. That includes huge doodles, that includes huge D sheds, everything using this and the guard combs. The only haircuts I continue to do with a traditional clipper are kennel fives and kennel fours and even then it's only when the coat types get a better finish because of a blade i have kind of fallen in love with this these wall competition series blades um they don't get hot they are a touch shorter um i kind of love them again i'm only using the fours and fives because I've done away with the sevens. If I'm using a seven, it is going to be a nine on my five and one. And then I'm going to use the 10 setting to touch everything up. So we're talking a couple millimeters difference, but way faster. So I just done away with the sevens completely. So I'm literally using only fours and fives. Everything else, I'm going right back to my guard combs for everything. So. That keeps up sharpening super cheap for me then, super easy to do. Um, I've tried out a bunch of these cordless ones. I'm kind of into this and this Pulse ZR right now. Um, it's going good for me. I have the wall cam as well. I just like trying stuff for you guys. So I'll let you know kind of what I think about these. these. But I, I often I just go back to my regular corded one too because I honestly use this like 10% of the time. The five and ones have changed my life. A lot of people I've heard have issues with the five and ones, but I feel like that's because the coat is not prepped correctly or we don't have the right products to make it easy. Because I literally do the thickest doodles with this. I do everything with this and I'm able to do it fast, efficiently and make money. So I feel like that saves me a ton of time, makes it easy for me. Um, my next is, uh, just a basic thinning shear. I like, uh, this is a Sedona, Sedona brand. Again, I'm gonna show you cost-effective brands and it's still my go-to. I'm kinda in love with some things that uh, Angie at LA Sharpening is showing me. Hi Angie, I know I saw you tuning in there, but Angie has some pretty cool stuff coming out that I'm testing, so I'll let you guys know when when uh what i think about that stuff but so far i'm loving it because it's cost effective and the quality is there because i love these sedonas but i have replaced them once a year so uh for i feel like they're a hundred dollars ish but every year replacement 
uh, that gets a little bit costly for me, but Sedona, I like the, the result of those. They're aggressive, but not too aggressive, so I really like those. Um, and then I've got a straight chair. I always go for at least eight and a half inch. So this is an eight and a half inch. Uh, and then I like a severe curve, a very severe curve, because I can just get so much more out of these options. So that's literally what I use. Chunkers are not a must for me because I'm doing so much work with the clippers. My students will know that I say this all the time, but if you can do it with clippers, it's faster and more efficient, so do it. So for me, I'm always using clippers to make things faster, so a chunker is not in my must-haves, although if you're not confident in scissoring, I would say a chunker probably should be a must-have for you. Uh, next, I, my go-to combs are this little Andis one that's super fine. I didn't kind of fall in love with combs until recently and then I tried a bunch of different combs and I was like, oh wow, this actually is the thing. So this little fine comb made by Andis, you can get one in Chris Christensen as well. Andis, I feel like, and Wall has come out with a bunch as well. They're the most cost effective. So this is very similar to the Utsumi, but I want to say it cost me about $25. So total win for me. And I actually have ended up using it a ton, but for my everyday combing, everything, dematting, everything is my Andis right here. Poodle type comb, one inch, one and a half inch prongs. Love this thing, use it all the time. My go-to comb. Again, it was in that 25 to $30 range. Um, then the only brushes I use I know you guys are gonna think it's crazy. I'm well known for my dematting skills and my doodle skills. Um, this is my arsenal, guys. It's that simple. This is Paw Brothers. I'm not usually a fan of these dematting ranks, but I don't know, Paw Brothers has something on the market about these. I wanna say these are like $5.99, somewhere around there. This is the small Paw Brothers dematting rank. It's my go-to. And this is my brush of choice. I was not in love with this brush when I first tried it. I was like, oh, those flexible brushes, what the heck? That's not, I'm a groomer, you know? And then I tried it and I was like, okay, I take it back. I take it back. So this flexible brush made by, this is Artero. And this is called their double-sided slicker. Black side, straight uh, prongs is dematting. Everywhere the white with everywhere prongs is for fluffing. And I have literally fallen in love with this brush. I can do everything with this brush. It's fast, it's efficient, it's gentle. Um, it works. It just works and I haven't had to use anything more aggressive than this. I do everything with this. So love that. Uh, my next tool for me that's a must is a short noose. I know a lot of y'all like to use long nooses. I can't stand them. I literally, a short noose is an absolute must for me, especially as a sitting groomer. I like my dog not to have a lot of space. And if you're talking about speed grooming, I see a ton of groomers lose speed with, uh, they're just chasing the dog around their table all day. So think about that. Think about, this is something we don't often think about because we're so worried about the haircut and time and all the rest of it. That, you know, busies of the, in the salon. Um, but honestly, think about what could I do that's gonna make my life easier right now? Half the time, that's gonna be shorten that noose up, give them less space so you can do your job. So for me, short noose is definitely my must. And a new must for me, I'm gonna give a shout out to Colin Taylor, is his belly bands. Was not sold on these at first, bought them at Master Groom two years ago and I literally can't remember a time I didn't use them. I'm like, where were these all my life? So this, for an everyday pet groomer, when we're dealing with the wiggles and the crazies, this is has become a must for me. The padded is awesome. All the options are awesome. I know there's lots of different brands. I love this brand. It stays clean, it's easy to wash. I've thrown them in the wash. So for me, this is awesome. I can't live without it anymore. Products. So I love Stampede Wild Animal by Lob. 
so L-A-U-B-E, shampoo. I've literally used it for 12 and a half years. I've tried tons of other shampoos. It is a 101 ratio. So cost effective, all natural, essential oils and aloe water, no added perfumes, no added dyes. How can you get more cost effective than that? And look, nice hands, not dry. So it works, it seriously works. It enhances colors naturally. I've used it over whitening shampoos and it works better than whitening shampoos. So again, that was Stampede Wild Animal by Lob. Uh, Angie at LA Sharpening is trying her very best to bring this in for me because my other supplier uh, dropped the line. So I'm sort of dying right now without it because it's been 12 and a half years of using this stuff. It works in every water type I've tried. It's just awesome. And when you're dealing with everyday pet groomer situations, um, I'm not going to be spending it on $150 gallon of shampoo. And I was, I not going to say the price, but it was under $70 a gallon. So to me, that was hundred percent awesome. And I double bathe everything. So then my next products, my only two products I've tried a lot guys. I've tried a lot. And this is what I literally turn to every time. If I'm talking about just conditioning and minor matting, I'm going to Canine Competition Nano Mist. Sorry guys, I know that's bright. And this stuff works awesome, non-oil based. Another thing that I talked a lot about on Facebook last night is I don't use conditioner. If you've got a great quality shampoo and you're not dealing with major coat damage, go with your leave-ins. You're not, it saves you so much blow dry time, not to mention product costs and not to mention bathing costs with rinsing. So go for it guys. We got so many cool products these days, but this is my go-to one. It works, it's efficient, it's great for de-shedding too. Um, major matte jobs are Tarot Matte X. You can go with uh, Hypnotic as well, um, but uh, it's, it's comparable and it is cheaper. You can see this one is what, like 24 bucks or something. Um, this is my go-to. I put it in after the bath, leave-in wet. Just remember this is a silicone-based product, so long-term use is gonna dry out the coat. So this is for my major D-mats, major D-sheds. This is my this is my weapon here. Now, that is literally it, guys. That's everything. That is what I use every single day to achieve everything. The real secret weapon of your arsenal is double bathing. I know it sounds crazy. I thought it was crazy once before too. Double bathing and your blow dryer. Whenever girls ask me where should I spend my money, 110% is a blow dryer. You need a good blow dryer. I, I didn't catch it on video for you guys today, but next time this dog's in, I will. Uh, one of my blow dryers blew out, so it's in the repair shop. So I'm using my backup one, which is not my common one. And one of my girls is blow drying this. It was an Aussie Shepherd thing. Uh, matted, totally impacted, gross. On one side, she used the backup dryer, and on the other side, we used the other one. Completely dry, de-shedded on one side. The other side completely pelted, matted when it came to my table, and I was like, what the heck happened here? And then I'm like, oh, this is the backup dryer side. So I took the dog back in, five seconds later, just that little bit extra oomph that the best dryer has makes all the difference in the world, and that's literally the magic there. So I am still a lover. I've tried every brand of HV dryer out there, and I still go back to this one because it's got that touch more that just makes all the difference, and that is the Metro Master Blaster. So I literally can't live without it. It sucks because it does need a 20 amp breaker. So it's not something you can just bring with you everywhere. But I, that is my secret weapon, double bathing and the Metro Master Blaster. If you can get coats prepped correctly and fast and efficiently, then you only need light tools that are so light on your body and so fast and so efficient to get your work done. So that's my arsenal. That's literally what I use. And even though I collect up some other little goodies that I, I literally use the goodies for like my competition dogs. Just like, oh, I use this on my miniature schnauzers and I use this on my poodle. That's it. I don't actually use it in my everyday pet grooming. I'm Dana Alexander. I really appreciate all the support. You, your guys' messages have been 
really overwhelming for me and how much you support my vision. I, I thought I understood where you guys were coming from as an everyday pet groomer myself. And it just is so nice to see that the last two and a half years of work that I've put together, that that I didn't miss the mark, that that it is what you guys need and that you need that help and that I just, I feel it because I needed it. And I had to go searching all over this place and spend so much money to, to learn this stuff. And, and I just feel like that's what you guys need. So that's what Prestige Dog Grooming School, my project is all about. It's about you guys, the everyday pet groomers. You guys are the masses. I'm a fiercely passionate groomer and I invite you to be fiercely passionate with me. And I'm Dana Alexander from Prestige Dog Grooming School.